We are uh, in London, London Olympia. Um, where it's the PC Gamer Weekend. Well, let's see how big this place is. Well, let's, let's put it this way, it's bigger than RTX. Now, hold on. Take note, RTX, take note. We started at the very top area of PC Gamer Weekend in London Olympia and our first stop had to be the Retro Gaming area. Kingdom Come Deliverance is a story-driven open-world RPG that immerses you in an epic adventure in the Holy Roman Empire. We're going to listen a bit into the demo on the PC Gamer Weekend stage. What we see in the finished games is that uh, how much of the uh, project scaled up over the course of the development from that Kickstarter? Well, the, the initial idea of the Kickstarter was that we will cut the game into three parts, like and take one to three. And the idea was that every part should have something around, uh, around 20 hours of gameplay. Now we have a game with, uh, with no parts. Now, now we have a game with no parts, one big kingdom come, but 100 hours of gameplay. Games Murderous Pursuits. Um, it's like a spiritual successor or, or a grandchild, I like to call it, of the ship. And um, there's four of us that work at Laser Griffin that worked on the ship. Uh, um, and we decided to put our own spin on it, and this is the game. So basically, it has the same mechanic in terms of you have a quarry that you have to kill, and you have hunters that are trying to kill you. And as you as you go around the level and try and stay hidden in plain sight, um, you have to keep your exposure down. Whenever you're not um, hiding in plain sight, in one of the vignette points, the dotted lines on the ground. Whenever you're not in one of those, your exposure kicks up. And then once you become exposed, then you get shown to your hunter in the fort. So they know who you are, where you are. Yeah. Stealthy as you can, you get more points for being more stealthy. Yeah. And then, um, additionally to that, you have ability system. So you have there's five abilities in the game at the moment. Um, you can pick two for your game, and then so you pick the ones that match your playstyle. Okay. Um, So you have to find the right weapon, hide in plain sight, uh, find your quarry, kill them without getting arrested. This year's PC Gamer Weekend hosts the first ever Omen by HP Bootcamp. Omen by HP, as a proud sponsors of the Overwatch League, will focus on the boot camp on every element of Blizzard's fast firing shooter, Overwatch. Total Warhammer next with Pete, you can see him in the background. I'm going to say that most of the time we do this. Um, have a check of the video, haven't looked at this any good. Currently by the HP Omen, you can hear them in the background. And yeah, enjoy. Man, The Complete Journey is a 3D platformer fairy tale exclusive released on the Xbox One in 2017. 
It's one of the most critically acclaimed titles of the year on the Xbox. They launched a PC version on Steam this month and it was well received by the players with 97% positive reviews. PC Gamer Weekend wouldn't be complete without a PC workshop, and it's right here. Whether you're looking to upgrade your kit or learn about the perfect setup, these in-depth workshops will look at some of the improvements you can make to your PC, no matter what your experience level is. Set in an imaginative post-apocalyptic universe, Biomutant is a kung fu fable filled with futuristic characters to discover, dangerous factions to navigate, and colourful worlds to explore with mechs, paragliders, balloons, mounts, jet skis, and more. Biomutant's unique designs let players change their abilities and appearance with powerful mutations, bionic prosthetics, and weapons. Grow claws, sprout wings, or attach robotic legs. Each choice will have an impact on the way your hero plays in real-time combat that blends martial arts and firearms. So uh, this is DRG Initiative, um, it's a third person shooter, uh, it's based in a uh, sort of dark twisted dystopian future with a nice apocalyptic vibe to it uh, and the whole wrapper of it is a game show. Uh, within the game show itself, think of it kind of like uh, Hunger Games or The Running Man, that's kind of where we got a lot of our inspiration from uh, of this game. Within the map we have things called swap pods and they're effectively uh, areas where you can bank one of your characters. As soon as you bank that character, your second character gets thrown out into the battle arena. There's a constant sort of play in this. Um, at the very end, if you want to take a look, a guy called Sam, he's broadcasting this game. Okay. Uh, this is a part of our game show sort of come to life. Yep. And he controls drones within the battle arena, so he follows the heat of the battle. Yeah. Uh, so he'd be uh, broadcasting it live 
streaming it live on Twitch. Okay. This is where we want to get viewers who are watching this game to yeah. vote on certain elements throughout this game that okay. the broadcast would trigger. Yeah. So halfway through it, he could say, okay, which which team do you guys want to give the loot to? Is it going yeah. to be the Wastelanders? Is it going to be the Knights? Who do you think okay. deserves it? Or who do you think plays best? Yeah. They do a vote, keep a back home vote on who they want to give the, the loot to. Yeah. Um, within 60 seconds, it gets dropped in. We also control certain elements within the arena, so we have platforms and we have a sewer system that the broadcaster, think of it effectively like a, a games master role, that they can sort of spice up the game at any yeah. time and open up certain areas and accesses to uh, areas within this battle arena, just to keep the, the sort of um, the entertainment going throughout yeah. the whole game. Grow your way to success in Real Farm, the most immersive agricultural sim around. Explore the countryside and make it yours, starting for nothing or take it all from a working farm. Manage the land, the crop, the animals and the staff and reap the riches you sow. Basically, it's something we'd fail miserably at, so we'll give it a go. Pete, I feel like you. Yeah. Look at that. The weights on control again to Yeah, I knew. on the sofa. That's good. I mean, there's, there's a lot more in PC games, I think, than, than we've, we've tapped into so far. But yeah. Yeah. We'll try. Definitely, I think so. I think the venues are good. This, this, this show is good. I mean, you learn, learn how to build PCs, how to overclock them, that kind of thing. All the different um, types of games that you've got. You know, OS games from the PC and then yeah. your strategy games as well. So Pretty good. you're not walking yeah. around bored thinking, well, there's yeah. not much to do. And you can jump in. There's lots of yeah. Game. And because the games are there's so many PCs open, it's easier to jump on than yeah. it is in some of the other events you're not having to queue up for. Yeah. Hi, I'm Michelle Cagle with Frostkeep Studios. We're here at PC Gamer Weekender showing Rend. 
which is a new fantasy hybrid survival game. It's faction based, it pits three factions against one another, and ultimately only one faction can win. The servers will restart and then you'll get meta progression and then the campaign, campaign starts all over again. So uh, we will be opening up Alpha very soon, so if you're interested in getting in early, go to frostkeep.com to sign up for the Rend Alpha. Rend is from uh, the original vanilla World of Warcraft developers and League of Legends, and so you'll see a lot of sandbox and RPG elements infused throughout our entire game. We will be launching early access on Steam later this year. So again, for more information, go to frostkeep.com. Black tube thing. Hold on. It's just there next to the VR stand, that's a lightsaber. Alright. Oh, yeah. uh, so the Jedi the Jedi challenges like in Star Wars in the New Hope with Luke Sky with Luke Skywalker and the, the the little droid thing coming around and he had to chop it with his lightsaber, I think from what I can tell, from what I can see. That's what this game's about. It's pretty cool as well because you get a lightsaber. Kind of hard, but it's a lightsaber. Yeah, it's, it's still very good. Cobalt's WASD is a multiplayer bomb defusal action platformer with grenades that stop time, blast your way through a bomb site, or repel the assault. Use teleported guns, grappling hooks, sticky sentry turrets, and quick tactical thinking to lead your team to victory. Play online or against AI. Well, this is up in PC Gamer Weekend in uh, Kensington, Olympia, in London. We've been going around, just sees a lot of footage going through this with uh, all sorts of indie games. We have met some of the developers in here and they've explained the game quite well, so you'll see some of this footage throughout the uh, show. We've got Pete Ryan in the camera. If you didn't know about what PC Gamer Weekend is, it's just in the title. PC games, it's full of it. It's very similar to something like EGX that we have, but um, mainly um, indie developers and for PC games as a whole. So, you know, if you like PC games, definitely take a look down here. We're literally just going to hang around for a bit longer, speak to a few more developers, get a few more games in, and um, yeah. We really enjoyed it. I just kind of want to know, you know, what is the game to someone who was watching it? Um, Best way to sum it up, so I know you're busy. It's, I would say the game is a is our take on the survival genre. Okay. Yeah. Um, it also, from another dimension, it's also our take on the open world. Okay. Uh, open world action game. Yeah. From another angle, it's our take on on a resource management camp building plan. Yeah. With a story behind it. So yeah. there are a bunch of uh, there are a bunch of elements to the game yeah. uh, that kinda put it all together in what we believe and we hope that the players will feel the same way or some of them have already expressed that they do feel the same way. 
is that it brings certain things that were never put together in a unique way. Okay. Yeah. And the unique and the most unique part about it is uh, the first thing I told you before the camera was on is yeah. that you're gonna die a lot. Yeah. So, uh, for example, it's an it's an open world game with a with a free roam exploration type with limited lives. Okay. So that means that um, everything you do has a consequence. Yes. One of these consequences being you lose one life. Okay. There are uh, there are mechanics in the game which give you uh, more lives, which make your playthroughs, your current and your future playthroughs easier. Okay. Uh, because you learn. Yes. And then. Um, Quite honestly, I've never played a game like this for myself. Okay. Like I never played a game like this before. Yes. Uh, because it's often either it's a free roam exploration and I die and nothing happens, so I just load the previous checkpoint. Yes. Uh, or it's a survival game and then you just die and it's a rogue like, so you start from scratch with everything. So we try to find a balance. Yeah. Between all of these things. Okay. Yeah, that come across quite well. You'll see some of the footage that um, I did to record of Pete playing. You, you kind of felt really in depth with the game that you were trying to survive and, and, and fight people and, and pick up. It's very, yeah, it's different. It's not a game that I've played before, which I really like, and you don't see many of them. So to round up quickly, because I know we're super busy, if someone was looking for the game, where would they go if it's released? Uh, we are we are on early access on Steam. So Steam. if they just search for Fate to Silence, they will they they can just find it there. Acquire, yeah. Have you got a release date, or is it early access for a little while? Because I know a lot of games are still um, in early access for a bit. We are planning to go full release uh, I would later it. later 2018. Okay, brilliant. I mean, we want to take put it out there this year. Okay. We want to make that. Brilliant. That's great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Look forward to playing some more of this. Thanks. Thank you. Talk, Thank you. Talk so. yeah, take care, man. <laughs> Thank you. Well, you've actually got to survive in this. It's like it's not like um, you know you have a health pack. You can take that, but you need to eat. You need to rest. You need to find things. The cold picture as well. Unless you get by a campfire and rest, you start to freeze, and then your health can only go to a certain point. Because once it starts to freeze, coming this way, your health rises right. as well. I think because you've got, you're constantly going to be thinking what I need to do next and how I need to survive, where I need to go get food. I don't think it would get boring very quickly. Okay, game's play. So good game. Game on the list. Yeah, yeah definitely. That is. Great silence. The PC game of the weekend. Good. Informative. Um, lots of going lots going on. I think it's a well put together uh, event. Lots to see, lots of big experiences. It's not tedious, it's not like there's not a lot to see. So it's good. And for me and Pete, thanks very much for attending and um, we'll see you at more events. Yeah.